Welcome to the course, 25 Must Know Tips for Using Microsoft Teams. My name is Tom Fregella and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I want to show you how to use Teams and I thank you for coming to the course today. So if I go to my next slide, here's the tips I'll be showing you today. So first, let me show you how to use the online version of Microsoft Teams. I'm going to close out the PowerPoint and just go to your favorite browser. So I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome here. One thing that you can do is you go up here and you type in office.com. When you go up to office.com, it might ask you to log on and you would use your Microsoft account, which is probably your email address. Once I'm in office.com, notice how I have the different icons over here. And then here's the Teams icon. So now we're on the online version of Teams. So well, I went up to office.com and then we're on the online version of Teams. Let me show you another way to get to the online version of Teams. So I'm gonna go back to, um, so I'll go back to Google. And then once you're in Google, uh, I'll type in Microsoft Teams here. And then at this point, you can click on uh, either this top icon here or the second icon. And then notice how we can sign in and you would use your Microsoft account from there as well. So that's a couple ways to get into Microsoft Teams, the online version. Now here's how you can download the desktop version. So once again, I'm going to go back to Google and I'll type in Microsoft Teams in Google. And then if we go to either one of these, if I click on this one, then we should see where we can download Teams over here. And that will be the desktop version. So that's what I'll be using for the rest of the course. I'll be using the desktop version. So once you download that, you would install it onto your computer. So now once you have it downloaded and installed, we're going to use this icon to use the desktop version. So for the rest of the class, I'll use the desktop version of Teams, but everything I'm going to show you should work in the online version as well. So I'm going to pick on the icon for Teams here. And now it might ask you to log on and you would use your Microsoft account. All right, so let's take a tour of the screen up here. So here you can search. And you can search for text or people's names or uh, file names. And notice how you can type in the slash there and get a list of all different commands you can type into the search. So you should try some of those. There's some good ones in there. But you can also just search for anything there as well. Now, if you come over here, you're going to see uh, this little circle is where you can have your picture. So in the next lesson, I'll show you how you can change your profile picture and your status using that circle right over here. Now I'm going to come over here with the activity. So the activity is where you can see where people have mentioned you in different chats or people's replies. Uh, so maybe you haven't been in teams for a while and maybe the first thing I'll do is pick on the activity to see if anybody has mentioned me or if anybody's replied to my chats and so on. And then if you want to see your activity, you can click in the pull down where it says feed and then I can see my activity and that's all my responses and things like that. All right. Now in the activity, you can also filter it over here and you can also have, we have settings for that as well. So you want to check out your activity. Now you see this word chat over here. This is the private chats. So in, in a couple lessons from now, we'll talk about the difference between a private chat and the, um, the team chats. So this guy over here is the, is your list of private chats. Then we see the teams icon. Then you'll see your various teams that you belong to. Uh, so you certainly might be belong, you might be um, in more than one team, right? So you see all your teams over here with the teams icon. The calendar is where you can schedule a meeting. All right. So it works a lot like an Outlook calendar. So you can actually schedule a meeting from the calendar tab. 
Now, uh, the calls is where we can make an instant call. And with the calls, you can type in your contacts and make an instant call with people. Uh, so, you know, if I want to make an instant call, I can use the calls area over there. Also, this is where you might see your missed calls when people have tried to call you. And it could even go to voicemail if they call you and uh, you're not there within Teams. Now, if I pick in the files over here, this would be all the files that you can get to on all of your channels. So when I pick on the Teams icon, you'll see your various teams. And if I pick on one of those channels on the team, then over here I can see the files for that team. Okay. However, if I pick on the word files over here, then you can see all the files on all your different channels in one location. So that could be really convenient. Then if I pick in the three dots over here, you can find an app. Uh, so it's one way to find the apps here. Here's other apps you can add to your teams over here. And of course you have your help. So you can use the help here. You can always Google things about teams. It's widely supported. All right, so now we have a good idea of, uh, of our screen and then everything is gonna happen here in the middle. So if I go back to my slides now, let me catch up with some of these slides. Here's the topics. So on slide three, it talks about how we got into the online version of Teams, like we saw on a previous lesson. So I went up to Google and I typed in Microsoft Teams. You go to the first link here. <clears throat> and then at that point, you can sign in. Then on slide five, we see the Teams icon on the desktop once you would have downloaded it. Now on slide six, if it does ask you to log on, it'll look like that and you'll use your Microsoft account. And then on slide seven, you would uh, type in your password if that was appropriate. Now on slide eight, you can get the Teams mobile app. Uh, so you can go to the Google store or to the Apple store. So let me show you how you get the, uh, the Teams mobile app. Actually, I'll go back to Google here and I'm going to go ahead and go up to office.com again. I'll pick in the Teams icon. Once you're on the online version of Teams, then I can come over here and pick in the three dots and then I can download the desktop app or the mobile app. All right, so that's one way to get to the mobile app as that slide was showing. Let me go to the next slide. And then we can start the tour of the screen here. So if you go to slide 10, this PowerPoint should be included with the course. So here's the activity where you can find your mentions and your uh, replies and things like that. I'm going to just go to slide 11. And then this is where we have the private chats. All right, so we'll talk more about the private chats in future lessons. And then we see our teams. That's where you can get to your team chats or your team files or your channels. I'm going to go to slide 13. Then uh, we're back to the private chat here. So we'll, we'll go uh, more directly into that very soon. If I go to slide 14, it shows you the calendar where you can schedule your, uh, your future Teams meetings. By the way, if you schedule in that calendar, it'll show up in your Outlook calendar as well. I'm going to go to slide 15. And then with the calls, that's where you can make an immediate call. So you can pick uh, one of your contacts and then call them right from there. So there's multiple ways to start a call or start a meeting within Teams. And we'll talk about that more during the course. And then here's the files. So I like that icon. You can see all of your files on all of your different channels in one location. If I go to slide 17. Uh, so then another place to get to the files is you pick on the Teams icon. You pick on one of your channels. And then you pick on the files tab up top there. And those are the files for the channel. So I showed you that. I'll go to slide 18. And then uh, in the channel, it can have a wiki. A wiki is going to be a shared document within that ch uh, channel. So each channel should come with its own posts, which are the, uh, the chat for that channel. 
It should come a wiki. Should, should come with the files. Let me go to slide 19. And then we'll see this plus sign in a future lesson. It's how you can add a new tab onto your channel. So that was a good tour of the screen, as you can see here on Microsoft Teams. In this lesson, I want to show you how to change your profile picture and change your settings. Now, you can do it over here with your profile picture on the online version, but let's go back to the desktop version. Here we go. So I am going to pick on the, the circle over here. Now, let me show you how to change your picture. I'm going to click on this circle here and they'll say I can change my picture. So I'll pick on upload and then you would upload a picture. So in this case, let me go to a different folder. All right, good. So that's actually me. I'll pick on uh, open. And now that is my profile picture for our teams and I'll pick on save. And now that should show up. So every time you add a chat or something like that, people would uh, see your picture. So I just clicked in the, uh, the circle up there and you pick on this circle to add a picture. Now this is also where we can change our status. So I'm going to click on that picture and then right now I'm marked as available. So that means people can uh, call me or invite me into a team's meeting. If I click on this pull down where it says available, then I can change my status busy, do not disturb, and so on. So if you're marked as busy or do not disturb or some of the others, then they people would not be able to invite you to a team's call or a team's meeting. All right, so uh, you can change your status there. I'm going to say available. Then another thing you can do here is you can change your status message. So let's say if somebody uh, tries to invite you to a call, you want them to receive some kind of message. So I'll pick in the picture, I'll pick on set status message. And I'll say, you know, um, I'm away. Please contact. Please contact, you know, uh, John in the meantime, you know, whatever you would say there. So they're going to get that message, especially if you're not marked as uh, active or available, then you can say clear the status message after a certain uh, time frame. All right. And then you can, uh, you know, schedule your out of office there as well. So I'll pick in the word done here. Now I'm going to get rid of that message. It was just an example. But you can see when you pick on your circle up here, it's where you can change your picture. It's where you can make your change your status and change your status message. Now, another thing that you want to take a look at is where you say it says manage your account and you'll find a lot more settings there. So the next thing I'd like to show you is setting up your camera and microphone and speakers within Teams. So I'm going to click on the picture again and I'm going to pick on the word manage account. Now there's a lot of settings here. So when you have a chance, you should go through some of these settings. But notice over here, it says devices. So that'll be your speaker that you're going to use with Teams, the microphone, and then uh, even the camera. So if I scroll down, then you'll, uh, you know, you'll start to see the camera as well. So you can set up which speaker is appropriate to be used within Teams the microphone, and uh, there's other settings here, including your camera. So like on my, on my computer, I have several cameras, all right? So I'm going to close that window. We picked on the your picture, and then we picked on the word manage account. There's many settings here that, that you should go through, but here is the devices where you can set up your speaker, microphone, and your camera. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you really liked it, please click on the thanks icon that looks like this below this video to support the channel. Please check out some more of my free videos. 
You can also subscribe to my mailing list and find out about my other services by going to www.pcwebinars.com. Thank you again.